Today's topic is the fibula bone. Introduction, anatomy, function, injuries, and treatment. Introduction. Today's video topic is the fibula bone. The fibula bone is the long bone adjacent to the shin bone, extending from the knee to the ankle, and supporting the long leg muscles. The fibula or the calf bone is the bone on the outside of the lower leg. Its upper end is located below the knee joint, but is not part of the joint itself. And the lower end of the fibula forms the bony process located on the outer side of the joint of the ankle. And as mentioned, there are two bones below the leg, one of which is the fibula, and the other is the tibia. The fibula is the smallest bone, and it helps to stabilize the tibia, but it is not able to bear a large weight like it. The fibula bears about 17% of the human body's weight. Anatomy The fibula, unlike the tibia, is not a weight-bearing bone, as its main function is to act as an attachment for the connection of numerous muscles. There are three major articulations. The proximal tibiofibular joint articulates with the tibia's lateral condyle. The distal tibiofibular joint articulates with the tibial fibular notch. Ankle joint connects the talus bone to the foot. Head. Beginning at the proximal upper end of the fibula, you'll observe a larger head. The proximal tibiofibular joint will be formed when this articulates joins with the lateral condyle of the tibia bone. It also serves as an attachment point for the biceps femoris and the fibularis longus, as well as other ligaments. Shaft. The fibula's shaft is slim and rigid, allowing for the connection of numerous leg muscles. Lateral malleolus. Finally, the lateral malleolus is the bony portion of the outside ankle. This, like the medial malleosus, articulates and creates a joint with the talus bone of the foot, allowing ligaments to be attached. Function. The fibula bone contributes to many functions in the body, such as supporting the ankle joint. The fibula contributes to the transfer of forces resulting from the ankle hitting the ground during walking, and the membrane between the fibula and tibia helps transmit rotational forces to the knee joint, Although the fibula is not able to bear a lot of weight, it is necessary for the work of the ankle. It should be noted that the fibula contributes to bearing approximately 17% of the body weight while walking, while the tibia bears approximately 83% of the body weight. Stabilization and support of the ankle and calf muscles, in addition to many ligaments, the fibula forms the site of the attachment of about five muscles providing support for these muscles and enabling them to contract and relax. Injuries. Now let's talk about the injuries that can happen to the fibula. Many injuries can affect the fibula bone, including the following. Fibula fractures. In some cases, the fibula fractures, such as when falling or sustaining a physical injury to the outer side of the leg and twisting the ankle may put pressure on the fibula bone, which may cause it to break. Signs and symptoms associated with the fracture of the fibula bone include 1. Pain and swelling at the site of the injury are most common symptoms. 2. Inability to bear weight on the affected leg. 3. Bleeding and bruising. 4. Visible deformity of the shin bone. 5. Foot numbness, feeling cold. Fibula tumors. Some tumors may appear in the upper end of the fibula closest to the knee in rare cases, causing pain, and it is necessary to visit a doctor in this case to determine the nature and diagnosis of the tumor. Treatment. The treatment of a fibula bone fracture depends on the severity of the fracture and the location of the fracture. The fracture is classified as an open fracture, a fracture that led to a wound in the skin and in some cases the bone came out of its place, or a closed fracture, which is an internal fracture whose effect did not reach the outside of the skin. Open fracture treatment. Disinfection of the wound to prevent infection in the wound. Take antibiotics to prevent bacterial infection in the wound area. Surgical work may be necessary to stabilize the bone by placing wire rods or metal plates. After the fracture is healed, the physical therapy comes in to restore the activity of the leg muscles and ensure the ability to practice various physical activities. Closed fracture treatment. 
splinting the foot to fix the bone. Apply ice packs to relieve swollen feet. Take pain medication. Putting metal skewers or plates to support the bone in severe cases. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.